just giving up. I'm ready for marriage. But I'm you don't ready trust for... me though. No, because you're giving me reasons not to. But you didn't. But you've had you. you and it, then now it's like I you... have to watch you with someone else. Ooh, baby, it looks like somebody broke the trust, baby. It looks like somebody broke the trust, baby. Listen, we've been in these situations, haven't you? All right, a lot of us have been in this situation. But specifically, I want to talk about Lisa and Brian. And I could make videos on them on episode one all day. Let's talk about breaking the trust and why we had this crazy reaction from her where she mushed him in the face and while wow, her, her reactions are very, very wild, okay? Look, I don't know what's broken the trust. It could be cheating. It could be financial, che financial, it could be emotional, it could be mental. Who knows what kind of uh, uh, breaking of the trust means here? Usually we run to the furthest thing, which is cheating, but it doesn't really matter. What we do know is there has been some trust breaking, which he agrees to. And he says, don't you trust me? She says, you know, you, you broke my trust. And now I'm having to watch you with other, with other women. And I would, that would then presume that if she's then saying, I have to watch you with other women, the, there's been some impropriety, some infidelity, more than likely in a relationship in some shape or form, whether it's emotional or if it's physical. And that's what's causing the fear within her to react in a controlling manner. In fact, her bringing her, her bringing him on to ultimatum was about control. She wanted to be able to get him to say yes to marriage. She was going to use marriage as a way of hiding her own insecurities about the fact she doesn't even trust him. She's going to use marriage as a tool of healing for the pain and the wounds that she has that she hasn't dealt with. And the reality is once once you don't deal with those wounds and those insecurities, it means that you try to hold on too tight to that person. That's why she became territorial when he was speaking with Rhea earlier on in that particular episode. So we're going to break it down a little bit more, right, about Brian breaking a trust and what that does to a person and what that does to an individual. So if you're new to the channel, do me a massive favor. Welcome to Little Black Book. You know what time it is. And listen, like share, subscribe, help us get to 100,000 subscribers this particular season. If those of you who are there as well, press that black button, um, click on the notifications, and it means you get all the notifications when I go live, when I do videos and uploads as well. And we're going to be doing a lot of lives in the next few days concerning Ultimatum, so you should be around. Um, and make sure also, for those of you who are returnees, you already know what it is, baby. You got the minerals. You got the minerals. Stay hydrated. Oh, baby. All right, let's get into the video. Uh, let's talk a little bit more about breaking trust and how that really does affect people in their journey in relationships. Okay, let's uh, let's get that going. Okay, cool. So let's, let's bring this back on. Okay. This is that opportunity for me to give you reassurance, but you're not giving me that chance. I hope you take the next three weeks and really work on what we need to do. So again, the mention of let me, you know, work on what I need to work on in the next few weeks. He mentions, you know, he said, hey, look, you know, you, you, need, you need to give me that time to be able to work on what I need to work on and, and to show you reassurance. Now, let me just be honest with you. First and foremost, we shouldn't be on the show. This show is not right for you, but it is right for you. Right. It's not right for you, but it is right for you. It's right for you because in reality, it's going to expose the wounds that you guys have. And either you're going to be strong and you're going to fix it or you're going to break. Right. And more than likely, probably break because putting yourself on this kind of show where there's going to be external factors that would ordinarily not be there in this particular way, i.e. other women, other men. This is really going to put more strain on the relationship. Right. And rather than it being a focus on healing, it's going to be a focus on just not being hurt. It's going to be a focus on trying to make sure you stay away from the other women. And because of her insecurity, it's making her territorial and it's affecting her judgment. She is now beginning to judge, uh, judge situations through the emotional lens of pain. Let me give you an example. Right. You might have thought you had a clear head when you decided that you were going to bring him on to ultimatum. Right. Because she brought him on. That's what she said. Right. She said she brought him on to ultimatum and brought him on to the show. OK, now you're saying that he's now telling you he's convincing you to stay. And we see that because in the clip, when they're talking um, in the bed, um, you know, and she's end up crying because, you know, she wants to leave the process. Right. And I'll show you a little clip so you can have a little look as well. <laughs> Now, the thing is, she brought him here. 
she's the one that actually brought him here and she thought that by bringing him here she would get him to commit to her she was trying to force his hand to commit to her because he hadn't done so already and the reality is he doesn't want to commit to her we're going to discuss that in the third video right why he doesn't want to commit to her i'm going to give you the reasons why he doesn't want to commit to her but you brought him here you realize you didn't you didn't make the right decision because now he's now interacting with other women and all of a sudden now you want to pull the plug See, you 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 wanna you wanna change your mind whenever you feel like because now you sorry about that. In uh, sign one out. The very thing you were trying to mend in a relationship, the very thing you're trying to solve, the very thing you're trying to achieve, right, which is heal the wounds, you then put yourself in a high-pressure cooker where those wounds are going to expand. That's not a logical decision. That's not coming from somebody who's on a logical decision. That is coming from somebody who's in a hurt place and their vision is affected. And so now their decision-making is all over the shambolic place. Because now you are regretting your own mistake. Why? Because you were not logical in the first place. The emotion was chatting to you. You had a plan in your head. If I can just drag, if I can just get him to marry me, I'll feel safe again. You won't. If I get him to marry me, he won't leave me. You won't. He won't. It doesn't mean it doesn't guarantee that. Or if I can just get him to to say yes to me, then he'll finally be mine. He won't. All right. Lisa is also in her masculine way too much. And the reason being is because there's pain there. And it's probably not just from him. It is probably from her childhood too. You know how I like to go deep in the past. Okay. All right. That has put her in a place where she tries to be in the lead. So she says, I've got the money. I can buy the house. You know what I mean? You got a six figure woman here already. I'm ready to get married. And it's like the I statements are so heavy because she's used to getting things done. And she is struggling to be in a place where the power is not in her hands to choose. If she could, she would choose for him. If she could, she would choose for him. That is why we're here at Ultimatum to choose for him. Oh, you don't believe me? Let, let's let's go. Let's go. Let's go back. You don't believe me? Let's let's go back. Let us go back. Um, let's go back. Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, I want to see. Have I got a clip, man? He's never. Oh, I want to find a clip where she says um, he's never had somebody basically put the pressure on him. I think it, I think I remember, I'm going to have to try and remember this. Hopefully uh, I will get this right. Hopefully I'll get this right. Because Netflix be killing me out here. He truly felt like he was going to lose me. I just love how she's careless. I mean, <laughs> selfless. Sorry, selfless. I apologize. You better correct that. <laughs> selfless. No, okay, that's not the right part. I wanted to um, play the part where he they said about the um, where she said obviously about putting in, uh, basically that he's never he's he's never um, had somebody kind of put him under pressure in a sense. And I was like, why why would that be on your mind that there's no one ever put him under pressure? And the reality is because you believe that you could you you believe that you can change him. You believe that you can change his ideals. You, you feel like that you can uh, uh, be the one that would push him to a place. And it's like, that's not going to be it. That, that's not going to make him do that, right? So we're going to play the clip. I'll get, I've got a clip for you guys. All right, let's have a look. All right, sorry. Let me, let me just scoot back a little bit. Let's scoot back a little bit. 10 seconds. Let's go. Boy, boy will you play? people in this room one of those oh my and our God. families love each other so it's kind of like what are you waiting on the goal is to leave here with the man that i'm in love with maybe you know we're not ready for me so a copyright will happen um so let me just stop this there it's going to come up after this so apologies i don't know what internet was playing up there but um she's going to literally say um he hasn't had anybody put pressure on him and again that's the insecurity trying to force him to see things the way she does and because she doesn't want to let go, because she's afraid of being abandoned, because she's afraid of being alone, she's afraid of that. The time that she's invested in this, in this relationship, it's going to go to waste. She's trying to force it now. And in reality, when you try to force it, especially with men, 
Yeah, you might get him to marry, but would he want to stay? Would he want to stay? That's a real. That's a question to ask. I feel pretty confident that he's gonna propose because I don't think he's ever been put in a position to where he truly felt like he was gonna lose me. I just love how. So she said, obviously, I don't think he's ever really been put in a position where he's truly ever gonna lose me. <sighs> so you think he's gonna propose because you now put him in a position where he may lose you? You gambled wrong, sis. You overestimated your hand. You overestimated your importance in his life. And the reality is, when it comes to commitment, we're gonna look at we're gonna look at the fact that what what's gonna keep him there? Is it the the time and the resources and energy he's put into it, or is it the fact that you know what uh, the the amount of um, the fact that, that he can't find someone better out there? It, you know, uh, is it the fact that you know in some reality when we talk about the three things? satisfaction alternatives and investment the first one which is um satisfaction does he receive more benefits from you okay with few costs from him and maybe he does maybe he receives more benefits and fewer costs from him which means he can stay what what do i mean by that you're willing to try and do everything that's why some men stay because you're willing to do everything and he's like oh well she's willing to do everything it's a it's, it's a low cost to me but it's high benefits. Why leave? Doesn't mean I'm committed though. It's my, it might be why I end up staying for a while, but it doesn't mean I'm going to commit, right? Forcing him to want to propose to you, to a brother who doesn't even want to propose to you is mad. But our good sis is trying to control the thing because of her insecurities and her wounds that have come from a broken trust in the relationship, number one, but number two, also from childhood. This doesn't seem like just broken trust in this relationship. This seems like broken trust in general. She's experienced this before, and, and now she's using that experience of a loss of control to try and control this young man. Hence why she gets so frustrated and angry because she's hurt by him, but also that anger that she has actually leads to control. Right, it's my final point. The anger she has actually leads to control. When you have a temper and an overreaction, the other person has to accommodate that if they want to stay in a relationship. And sometimes they end up being placid, or I should say, placate you. Sorry, and they placate you by being passive about the way you're reacting. Just like when she mushed him in the face and he went after her. Right, see where is she? She would love to choose for him if she could. Okay. All right. So a lot of this is, to, is is a mask for her anxiety and fear of abandonment. OK, so when she says, in, um, you know, being in a position, he's never been in a position where he will lose me. She's trying to she's trying to fight for her importance and being seen. Whatever happened in their broken of trust made her feel like she wasn't being seen. Like it, share, subscribe, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below. Maybe you disagree with me. Maybe you saw something different in those clips, but I would love to know. And don't forget, we'll